Hi, this is Jerry. I've been studying uh, Israel and the Jews history. The, the temples that uh, King Solomon built and when it was destroyed and they built a second temple and it was destroyed. Bible put the Bible predicts that there must be a third temple. This is a um, a temple that um right now in Jews' homeland. This is a replica of a temple. Here is a picture. That looks like it's going to be the future. And you notice that little round dome. That's uh, the uh, Muslims. So you got their temple today. And right now, uh, today, there is no uh, third temple. You probably want to know where I get this information from. How do I know? Well, in the Bible, I'm going to use two areas. One, Ezekiel. Second, Revelation. I'm going to let you all hear that for yourselves. First one would be Ezekiel 40, start with verse 1. In the 25th year of our captivity, at the beginning of the year, on the 10th day of the month, in the 14th year after the city was captured, on the very same day, the hand of the Lord. Now what it means capture, I mean, in the year of 586, 87, one or the other, that the sec first temple of Solomon's was destroyed. of our captivity at the beginning of the year on the 10th day of the month in the 14th year after the city was captured on the very same day the hand of the Lord was upon me and he took me there in the visions of God he took me into the land of Israel and set me on a very high mountain on it toward the south was something like the structure of a city. He took me there. And behold, there was a man whose appearance was like the appearance of bronze. He had a line of flax and a measuring rod in his hand. And he stood in the gateway. And the man said to me, Son of man. Look with your eyes and hear with your ears, and fix your mind on everything I show you. For you were brought here so that I might show them to you. Declare to the house of Israel everything you see. Now there was a wall all around the outside of the temple. In the man's hand was a measuring rod six cubits long each being a cubit and a hand breath. And he measured the width of the wall structure, one rod, and the height, 
one rod. In Revelation 11, and John was, uh, you could say he was, like he was going up in heaven, spiritually, he uh, saw New Jerusalem that is here on the earth and just basically almost what you see here in the picture. This is really important information that I didn't know when I was a Jehovah Witness. Then I was given a reed like a measuring rod, and the angel stood, Rise, and measure the temple of God, the altar, and those who worship there. But leave out the court which is outside the temple, and do not measure it, for it has been given to the Gentiles. And they will tread the holy city underfoot for forty-two months. And I will give power to my two witnesses, and they will prophesy 1,260 days clothed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands standing before the God of the earth. And if anyone wants to harm them, fire proceeds from their mouth and devours their enemies. And if anyone wants to harm them, he must be killed in this manner. These have power to shut heaven, so that no rain falls in the days of their prophecy, and they have power over waters to turn them to blood and to strike the earth with all plagues as often as they desire. When they finish their testimony, the beast that ascends out of the bottomless pit will make war against them, overcome them, and kill them. And their dead bodies will lie in the streets of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Then those from the peoples, tribes, tongues, and nations will see their dead bodies three and a half days and not allow their dead bodies to be put into graves. And those who dwell on the earth will rejoice over them, make merry, and send gifts to one another because these two prophets tormented those who dwell on the earth. Now after the three and a half days, the breath of life from God entered them. And they stood on their feet and great fear fell on those who saw them. And they heard a loud voice from heaven, Come up here. And they ascended to heaven in a cloud. The reason I'm showing this, because when I was Jehovah Witness, we was taught that um, the Jews in Jerusalem are no longer God's people, and Jerusalem was nothing in God's eyes. I found too many scriptures in the Bible to prove that the Jews is God's chosen people, to prove that they were supposed to, after the uh, second temp temple was destroyed, in the future, they was going to go back to their homeland, take their land back, and they will be God's chosen people again. And they were supposed to build in Ezekiel 41, that they were supposed to build another temple to replace the first two that were destroyed. Because they was unfaithful, and that's the reason God had the first two temples destroyed. So I'm just proven here that Jehovah's Witnesses has been lying to us and all the information I found here was in the Bible and you can't call the Bible a lie because what you just heard in the chapters is from the Bible so Jehovah's Witnesses here's another lie for the governed body because first off, the destruction of the first temple was not 607. I got a video on my other channel, channel on the same channel, that proved when 
the first temple was destroyed. If you don't believe me, just put in 587 Jerusalem or search on your website, on your computers, whatever you have, and you'll find out the truth that Jerusalem Temple fell in um, 586. And here's the thing. Nebuchadnezzar did not become a king till 605. Because, because in 607, his father was still alive. I have a video on that one too. His father was alive in 607. He died in 605. So that means if you add from um, 605, 21 years, you should get, get 586 or 587. Do the math. Thank you and bye.